We're here. What are we gonna do? It's important to make a fire before it gets dark. Okay, I'll start with that. Can you help me, Jake? Sure. <laughs> Come on, Jake, blow. We did it. Well done. It's a scorcher. How are you not cooking in those clothes? I'm used to it, but yeah, it's hot. Maybe we should go to the lake and cool off a bit. Maybe later. We should get this firewood back to camp so Miriam can cook. We don't want her to get even grumpier. <laughs> I want to talk to her, but she scares me a little. Why would you want to talk to her? I don't know. She reminds me a little of my grandmother. How she walks, how she talks. I miss her. Uh, oh. She's been sick for months and she can't have visitors. Yeah, she's often cranky, but she was the only one who really understood me. Jake, I don't know what to say, but if you need to talk to someone, I'm always here. It's good to feel like someone's listening. I have the first one. You can put them on the starting line. Hey, Tom, doesn't that mask bother you? It's cloudy now. I don't think the sun will kill you. Um, even if the sun is not visible, it can always cause me problems. Well, I'm really curious to know what you look like without it. <laughs> Maybe later. Are you okay? Not really. I feel bad for letting the team down. Don't worry. We'll catch up in the other challenges. I wish I could do it, but it's just... It's too close to home. May I ask why? I lost my grandfather when I was a kid, and I always went with my mom to visit him and leave flowers. That place caused me a lot of anxiety. Now my grandmother's sick, and I know it's only a matter of time before... You know. I'm sorry, Jay. That must be hard. It's fine. I'd rather not think about it. Time's up, come on! I'll give you some time to pick your partners. Shall we go together, Tom? <laughs> yeah, sure. I hope we win this challenge. I'm already tired of only eating fish. <laughs> huh, I know. What are you craving? Chinese takeout. I always order that at home. Oh, I love Chinese food. There's a restaurant I live near that'll knock your socks off. We should, uh, go when this is over. Sure. Hey, your eyes. They're pretty. I never noticed since you've always got that hood on. Um, thanks. Uh, sorry, I, I don't know how to react when I get a compliment. Don't sweat it. Come on, Tom, you can do it! <laughs> well done, Jake! Hey, Sean! Hey, Jake. What's up? Is everything alright? I'm sorry. Oh no. A couple of days ago, Grandma passed away. Are you serious? Mom told me not to tell you until he came back, but I had to. You're lying. <laughs> she was conscious for a few hours. Before she got worse, she wrote you a letter. I'll give it to you when you get back. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Jake, I I'm so sorry. <laughs> I can cook. Hey, uh, I, I don't think Jake's in the mood to run around looking for ingredients. You good to stay and cook with Miriam, Jake? Okay. Uh, Jake, how are you? Do you feel better? A little. I'm here if you need anything. Now don't worry about getting us breakfast today. I will get us the usual. Thanks, Tom. Do you like him? What? Tom. Do you like him? Uh, no. Why do you say that? 
You always smile when you're talking to him. It's just, I like him, but not in that way. I'm not ready to be in a relationship. Why? Recently, I was in a somewhat toxic relationship and things didn't end well. What did he do? He cheated on me. And I couldn't get over it. Well, you're young. Unlike me, you still have a lot of time ahead of you. Hey, Tom. I think I saw Jensen. <laughs> uh, what? Where? Um, this way. Come over here. Guys, hide. I'll go with Gabby to distract him. Hi, Jake. Oh, uh, what's up? What do you want? There's something you need to know. This is not the best time, Gret. Wait, I want to know. Tom is lying to you. It was Tom who voted for Drew, not Dan. What? Why? Because Drew found out his little secret. What secret? The whole sun sensitivity story is fake. He lied to you because he's a spy. No. What are you talking about? Is this a joke? He's here for work. You mean nothing to him other than a way to blend in more. Come on, Jake. Gret has clearly lost it. Ask him yourself. We didn't find Jensen. Tom, you're not gonna believe this. <laughs> uh, believe what? Gret was saying the strangest things about you. What What did she say? <laughs> she said that you were the one who voted for Drew because, get this, he found out you were a spy? Shh! Keep your voice down. Wait, what? It's true? It's not that simple. Oh my god. It really is. So you're just here for your job. Jake, settle down, son. And uh, our friendship, was that just a blend in too? Did you ever care about me at all? Was any of it real, huh? Jake, calm down. Don't tell me what to do. I need answers. Uh, uh, I don't owe you anything. It's my life. Step off, Jake. Oh, excuse me if I don't want to be part of your super cool spy plan. Can you stop telling the whole goddamn neighborhood? Shut up, both of you. You're acting like children. Good morning. Good morning. Is everything all right? Gabby told me you and Tom are close, but it doesn't look that way anymore. Is something wrong? Is it that obvious? Are you mad? Yes, I am. Tom has been lying to all of us since he got here. He lied to me, like everyone else does. How so? I don't want to bother you with my problems. Don't worry. After last night, I know what it's like being betrayed. Everything you say is safe with me. I'm going for the pulley. Can you help me, Jake? I don't think so. What? Why? Because you're a liar. Ugh, enough already. I'll help you. Hey, Tom. Oh, uh, hi, Miriam. Things are a bit complicated with Jake, aren't they? Oh, well, that's one way to put it. <sighs> I know it's my fault, but he's exaggerating with his attitude. He's just an immature kid. Don't take it personally. It's hard not to. He'll get over it. Have you calmed down a bit yet? Yeah, I'm sorry. It's just, I can't forget how he lied to me and how that made me feel. And have you thought about how that made him feel? Uh, I... Not really. I'm just saying, it must have been hard for him, too. Do you think so? He only used me to go undercover. 
How do you know? Well, I... Gret said so. Did you hear Tom sighed? You should ask him. People are... complex. You can't jump to conclusions. I'll... think about it. Listen, Tom, I want to ask you something. What do you want? Did you really just approach me because of your job? <laughs> wow, you're asking me this now. Where was this question yesterday? Yeah, I'm sorry. Jake, I'm going to tell you the truth. I really like you. And the days we spent together fishing, gathering supplies, or just talking at camp, it made me rethink some things. What do you mean? Yes, I'm here for work. To investigate someone. My agency doesn't allow me to have any contact with anyone here after the investigation is over. But meeting you felt like we quickly had this connection, and I thought, <laughs> am I really willing to risk everything? My, my whole career, so, so we could be something more? Oh. But the way you've behaved in the last few days made one thing clear to me. I don't really know you, and I can't risk everything for someone who acts so unpredictably. Tom, I'm... I'm sorry. I was so selfish thinking only for myself. I... I had no idea. That's correct. You had no idea. You never bothered to ask. How are you today, Jay? I've been better. What's wrong? I... I messed things up with Tom. It's never too late to tell someone how you feel. It couldn't hurt. What do you mean? Go talk to him. Tell him how you really feel about him. Right now? Yes! Move your ass, boy! <laughs> Tom, can we speak? Uh, there's something I wanted to tell you last time we spoke. Shortly before I came here, I ended a relationship that was very toxic, and I got hurt. Then I lost my grandmother, and that was hard too. These aren't excuses for how I've been treating you, but I want you to know I feel terrible. I have a hard time with trusting people, Tom. I just... Talking to you makes me forget sometimes how shitty life can be. I don't want to lose that. After all this is over, I would love if you and I, we continue. Jake. What? I got a call last night. I got fired. A video in which you mentioned my work was uploaded to the internet and my boss saw it. Oh my god, Tom. I'm... I'm so sorry. Not now. Tom, if you need anyone to- I SAID NOT NOW! Why do I always say the worst things at the worst time? Hi, Tom. Jake, I've been thinking about what you told me. Yeah? Yeah, uh, maybe you weren't the only selfish one. I attacked you without thinking about how you were feeling. You don't have to apologize. I- I want us to be friends again. Really? <laughs> yes. But let's both try to be better. For our sakes. Any update about your job? Uh, I, I'm fine. Anyway, I haven't been sure for a while if this is what I really want. Or if I'm even good at it. You think you weren't meant to be a spy? I don't know. But it's not like I have a choice anymore. What are you doing? I don't work there anymore. I don't need this. My first job was a couple months ago. I was sloppy, and I got found out. Things went wrong, and my captors gave me this. The boss wasn't happy. I was tasked to come onto this show as a contestant to investigate it, and this job was my last chance. And I blew it. 
Were you using that mask to hide your identity, or were you... That's just an excuse. The truth is, I, I felt ashamed. I know my scars are hideous. But you look good, Tom. Stop lying. I'm not. <laughs> Attention campers, challenge time! Has it been a week? No one's come looking for us. I keep on telling you, Jake. The show is over. We're just lucky to be alive. Lucky? Those undead freaks are constantly hunting us down. I'm tired, Tom. Of what? Every day it's the same. Go out and find supplies, run away from those creatures, and do it all over again. What other choice do we have? Someone will come to our rescue. I don't know. I don't think this will ever end. Hey, at least we have each other. Tom, I saw a bush move. What? Yeah, behind you. Maybe you're just hungry and seeing things. I'm sure I saw something. Ciao! Tom! Fiore! What did you do? Hey, Ellie. Have you seen Tom? Yeah, I did. Oh, where is he? I heard something I shouldn't have. I'm sorry, Jake. This may not be the right time, but... What's going on? You can tell me. Have you seen that Tom has a radio? Yeah. I saw him using it in private. I heard him talking to his... boyfriend. What? Boyfriend? Yes. He said some horrible things about you. Things I can't repeat. It... it can't be... He said you're just a loyal pawn in his plan to win. The second this season ends, he'll be out of all of our lives. I'm sorry you had to find out this way. No, he wouldn't say that. Maybe you heard wrong. Trust me, Jake. You're my friend. And I'm only saying this because I don't want you to get heartbroken. Tom is a scumbag. You can't trust him. Good morning, guys. I brought fish for breakfast. Fish, is that really what you were up to? Shut up, man! W what w Was it something I said? Don't you get tired of lying to my face? Calm down, Jake. Huh? What's going on? Jake's being his usual self. What is it this time? I don't know. He didn't even tell me. Those two troublemakers might have something to do with this. It doesn't matter. Jake's so gullible. He believes everything he's told. After all this time, you'd think he'd at least talk to me about it. I know Jake can be dense, but he's a good boy. You keep on saying that, but he, he never learns. Does my care and affection mean nothing to him? Every day I'm here. I like being around Jake less and less. I can't believe this. Why do they always see me as an idiot they can lie to? I don't know. Calm down, okay? I, I should confront Tom. No, I mean, he doesn't deserve it. But last time I promised if we had problems, we would talk things through. Something's not right. Tom would never do this to me. He's been lying to you, and you're worried about keeping your promises? He's cheating on you, Jake. It seems like he's been cheating for a long time. Wow, so he's been making me make these promises so he could keep me under control? Exactly. I'm an idiot! You're not, Jake. Jake, we need to talk. Fine, I guess I should give you a chance to explain yourself. The elimination's about to start. No time to talk now, sorry. I have something to say to Tom. 
It's about Jake and all the drama surrounding him. Why do you care? I care because it was all a lie. What are you doing, Fiore? Ellie told Jake that Tom has a boyfriend and he was cheating on him. She kept them from speaking to each other all day. What the hell are you doing, Fiore? You're ruining everything! Wait, what? Is this true? God damn it, Jake! You promised you would talk to me this time! Tom, I, I didn't know. I tried to talk to you, but Ellie told me not to. Please, you have to believe me. Why are you listening to her? I thought I could trust her. I'm sorry, Tom. A and, and you didn't think you could trust me? After everything we've been through. Children, children, stop fighting, please. Can I read the votes now? Wait, this doesn't end here. Tom, we know about your totem. Ellie told us. What is wrong with you, Ellie? Alec, Ellie, and I voted for Jake. So if you don't use your totem to save your little dumb boyfriend, he's gone tonight. Is that true, Ellie? Fine. It's true. We voted for Jake. The plan was him tonight. I'm sorry. I just can't leave here fourth place. I know if I stuck with you guys, I'd never make the finals. And you decided you'd mess with my personal trauma just to get further in the game. You're screwed up, Ellie. You need help. Actually, yes. I don't ever want to talk to you again. No need to yell like that. Alec, what's going on? Did you know Fiore would do this? Um, yes. We'll talk later. Time's running out, Tom. What'll it be? Are you going to save Jake or not? I... I... Tom, please. I know I've been bad, but I promise. If you save me, we can talk tomorrow and work things out. What's stopping you from believing another lie they tell you tomorrow? Tom, I get that you're mad at Jake. But if he goes, you and I will go right after. Think carefully about this. Why are you so relaxed? If Tom plays the idol on Jake, we are screwed. What are you two up to? You'll see. Can I please read the votes, people? Uh, okay, okay, okay. I, I'm going to use my totem to save Jake. I can confirm that this is a valid immunity totem and has been used on Jake. Any votes against him will not count. Tom! Time for you to go. We fell through their trap again. I wonder whose fault that was. Tom, I'm sorry. Please, you have to forgive me. Shut up. You and I are done. Don't ever speak to me again. You'll regret this, Ellie. I haven't talked to Tom since we got kicked out. We've bumped into each other a few times at the hotel, but he doesn't want to talk to me. I know I deserve it. What did I learn? Well, if you have a job to do, just do it. Without falling in love with some silly boy who ends up ruining your future. Well, Tom, how are things with Jake? We haven't talked. I'm still a bit upset about what happened. You have every right to be. But I think you'll feel better if you both just listen to each other. Don't let it end on a bitter note. What would I gain from that? Better to have no regrets. Not talking to him and ever seeing him again after this could leave you feeling terrible about this entire experience. I know you two are both good people. Trust me, as a woman who's had many regrets in her long life, if you had an opportunity to change things, you should take it. Uh, okay, I'll think about it. Jake. I'm glad you're okay, Tom. Sorry, I just thought you didn't want to talk to me. It's okay. I think everything happens for a reason. What do you mean? 
We were both fools, Jake. I know I was harsh with you, and the truth is, I'm not innocent in this. We both acted impulsively. We made mistakes. But I don't regret it. You helped me learn from those mistakes. Will you still talk to me? I think we should take some time and, and grow as people. We are on the right path, but starting anything could ruin that. We'll see where we are later on. I agree. No matter what, I'm glad I met you, Tom. <laughs> Same here, Jake. <laughs>